Well, Liam, there's only one place to start today with the kits, and that green number over your shoulder is going to be yeah. giving its first run out this weekend. What do you think of it? I like it. Nice. I uh, saw it uh, probably first time a few weeks ago. Uh, when I saw it, I really liked it. It's uh, a little bit different to have that kind of colour kit, but certainly on the on the players with the shorts as well, looks uh, looks pretty swish. And you met Jake Bogg as well? Met Jake, yeah, that was great. Uh, he came to the stadium when we were obviously preparing for the launch and a little chat to him up in the stands in there and just his background and, and uh, history with Knotts was really interesting and he's obviously got a big love for the club. Um, and it was, it, yeah, just nice to sit down and talk to somebody that's local, so invested within the club and, and passionate about it. Supporters heading to Colville this weekend, they'll see it in action. How was your first week overall being on the training ground leading up to that friendly? It's been good. Uh, I'd say probably a little, maybe not enough numbers out on the pitch that we'd like for different reasons. One or two, you know, recovering from, still recovering from injuries, and and uh, one or two with the have been in in isolation with the COVID situation. One or two have had to hold back on a couple of sessions for that. So missed one or two that we would have liked to have had uh, just to bulk the numbers out. But the ones that have been there, it's been fantastic. You know, the the trialists that come in have really added something to the the group with a bit of quality as well and competition in there. And obviously the new faces coming in give new energy as well. So just nice to be back. There'll be a few names that supporters are probably looking forward to seeing (coughs) missing from the team sheet tomorrow, but there's nothing urgent, there's nothing concerning about any of those names that may not make the trip over. No, it's the the end of the first week. We've got a lot of pre-season games. Some players have been out for a long while, some we need to see how they react to that first week back before we decide if we put them into match minutes. And the, the, the idea is that everybody is 100% and fit on the opening day of the season. Now everybody has a different path to get there. Some will play to, uh, tomorrow, some will rest tomorrow, some will prepare for a, a full week of training um, and playing the, the game the following week against Telford. So I think that we've we've got to manage a little bit of everything through this early part of pre-season and, and the most important thing is that everybody comes through fit with 45 minutes under their belt feeling good Is that the format then? Have you selected almost two 11s two, first half and second half? Basically yeah we'll change the full 11 at half time uh, we've got four lads coming up from the youth team which is fantastic a couple of 16 year olds um, and, and a couple of 18 year olds that are coming up through our under 19 system that have been doing well there in the past season that have probably earned the opportunity to come train with the first team and give them a little platform and a taste and you know hopefully that shows the intent for us to connect with the academy and look at our own youth system as well to develop over a period of time so I think it would be a great experience for those young lads to come down and play in front of fans. I know you mentioned earlier in the interview we did earlier this week that you know part of pre-season for you is very much implementing tactical work into even the ring drill so can we expect tomorrow's sort of line-up formation style to, to suit your usual approach? I would like to think that, yeah, that, I mean, line up, no, because it's going to be very much a mixed bag of uh, youth team players, trialists, some first team players, and we try and balance the two two teams. So it's probably not necessarily what we'd expect to see in terms of personnel come the opening game of the season necessarily, but certainly in terms of maybe the way we set up or, or we attempt to try and play. But we've got to remember that most of these players have, have not connected or played together until this week. So I'll expect a little bit to be at times disjointed. But if we can just bed down some of the key things that we want, that's enough for me. You mentioned trialist there. It's obviously a big opportunity for a number of players this weekend. You know, Will you make decisions potentially off the back of this 145 minutes or, or do you think they've got more of an opportunity to impress? I think that probably will keep them in longer than that. I think you need to give players more than just a couple of sessions in a game to really see what they're about. You know, there's a lot of players that are out of contract at the moment. Some of them come in and they've got really interesting profiles. And but you don't sometimes you don't have all the information. They haven't played so many games or they've played a lot of 23s football. And you need to see them in your environment to to see. And you also get to know personalities, how they fit into the group. So sometimes you can have good references and, and some good information, but you need to. Um, get a little bit more and that's why we bring players in so we'll bring them in we'll learn about them and then we'll see what happens next week so we've already identified there'll be a few unfamiliar faces but there will be one familiar face in Damien McCrory who'll be taking part I believe yeah when when Damo left you know I think it was a really difficult one because Damo's a a good quality player fantastic guy uh, but has had a really rough time at the back end of last season with injuries I didn't really get to see him too much Um, Spoke to him about a week ago and he hadn't got anything sorted, but you know, he just asked if it was possible to come in, train, keep fit, 
you know, if there's nothing here, then at least we can support him in getting, um, you know, he'll be fit if he goes into another club and gets another opportunity. And you never know, we get to see him, I get to see him play a little bit more, which I never got to do really at the back end of last season. So um, he's a fantastic guy. He's contributed in the training sessions. And always for me, players that I've had, that have worked hard, that have shown great um, character in the training sessions, if sometimes you need to help them as well. Um, and when they, they asked to come back and do some sessions, you know, Damo was always more than welcome. We wouldn't usually be buzzing about the atmosphere for a pre-season no. friendly, would we? But it's likely to be, I think, probably nearly a thousand fans there. And it's still a bit of a novelty, isn't it? We obviously had it against Weymouth and Chesterfield and Torquay, but this is a great opportunity for the lads to get back out there in front of a decent crowd. Yeah, I think if you'd have said to me pre-COVID that uh, one of the most exciting atmospheres you're going to play in is, is at Colville, I probably wouldn't have uh, believed you. But a lot has happened since then. And uh, and I think, you know, we only saw the, the fans at the back end of last season and that was great. So I'm, I'm really happy that they're able to get down, even if it's the opening game and, you know, a, a mixed bag of a team. But it's great to, to be able to welcome them down. They'll get their first look at some of our new signings and they'll get maybe a look at some future signings as well. A word on Colville, why, why is it that we've selected them as, a, as an opponent in this pre-season? I think we, we, we looked at a lot of the kind of, to, to make our opening game one from a team in the leagues below, um, but they're a very well-run club, uh, good facilities, I think they've got a um, nice environment to go and play, fairly local, and you know, for us it's also important we go out to smaller local clubs and, and they get to you know sell tickets and maybe sell a few pints and, and uh, support the local football as well, which is great to, to get out there and support that. So for me, it's good to go to kind of um, teams in the local vicinity, lower down and, and give them the opportunity to play us. Now, I'm not going to let you get away without talking about potential transfers. Yeah. Unlikely to have anything this week, aren't we, at this stage, but what about early next week, potentially? Do you think anything might happen? Yeah, we will. Uh, I think we're pretty much very, very close on one or two now. Um, that I think that will probably get done Monday, Tuesday, I hope next week all being well. Like I said, we, we've not been ones to just jump in straight away at the end of the season. We really wanted to assess what we feel we need um, going forward and that's why we've kind of been quite patient, taking our time. And, you know, it's a long way before the opening game of the season, so we've got plenty of time to bed those players in, but the, the most important thing is that we get the right players and the right characters through the door.